Oh my god, what is up gamers? I'm so pumped to be playing this game right now, holy crap. Um, hmm, yes. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so excited. This is great, this is beautiful. We're gonna play alone and make sure subtitles are on because I'm probably not gonna be paying attention. It's okay though. Yeah, sometimes it's on. It's good. It's kitschy. We're all good. I'm so excited. This is incredible. New story. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I am afraid. I'm scared. I'm gonna jump. Doesn't matter how many playthroughs of this I watched. I'm gonna be terrified. Bum bum. I'm least looking forward to this part because I suck. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks <laughs> like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Give me a quarter. A quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? I don't want to know. Uh. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Yeah. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him. Bamboo. For sure. Can't play jump. Tell me. You saw something. It's a fish. It's a fishy. A mysterious wind. Death and doom. You mean like a mysterious gas? Question mark? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? No. Fine? Sure. <laughs> Absolutely not. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. I suck at QTEs, though. Ah. Yay. <laughs> she looks so done with life. 
but like relatable. What a brat. <laughs> Ma'am, mind your business. Oh, frick. <laughs> you have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Titanic was carrying something like this and didn't actually hit an iceberg they just say it did or they like purposely hit the iceberg to try and hide evidence I mean it makes sense spooky scary skeletons So weird though. Look who's streaming. I know. Listen, I just feel like it should have been secured better, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. Listen, I don't know how I feel about these controls. <laughs> oh god. It's pops, come back soon. Aww. Wish my handwriting was that pretty. soldier. I'm sure you've seen dead bodies before.
Jeez. Poor Doc. Actually, doctors are scary anyways, so it's fine. It's all okay. Go in the spooky dark door. It'll be okay. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Corpse. Drunk. He's Let's a streamer. Jeez. Listen, I want to go investigate your cell, my dude. Oh God. <laughs> Just pick it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ten days. And that Private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl. And steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. So how drunk did they get after the Chinese market that was right by the ship? Twenty seven Monday, Arthur Miller. Petty theft, one day brig. Small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis. Trespass, two days brig. Found off limits in cargo hold. The A with no reason to be there. Flagrant? <laughs> Disregard for orders. Friday, Lewis Brand, the public intoxication, one day brig. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, one day brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Saturday, Charles Anderson, public intoxication, brawling, 10 days brig. Joseph Roberts, public intoxication, <laughs> assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. Poor guy. Is that blood on the wall there? This is fine. It's okay. We're just not gonna worry about it. We're just, we're just gonna turn and it'll be fine. <laughs> oh god. Oh this, is, oh I don't like this. I miss my don't move. So much better. Sir, please go away. I'm stressed. I don't need you here. Everything is fine. Go. Oh. oh no. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Don't worry about it, Charlie. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's just a figment of your imagination. Is there anything back here? 
No. Okay, that was pointless. I'm fine. It's okay. Let's go go gadget out of here. Unless question mark there's something here? No no, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool cool. Coley Culkin. What was that? Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. It's all fine. Is there stuff here? Do I want to go here? Do I want to go to that door? What do I do? Oh god. Oh no. I don't remember. Okay. That answers my question. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hey, Charlie, help. Come on, Charlie. Oh, no. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. Wow, that blood looks super realistic. <laughs> oh, jeez, my dude. You've seen better days. <laughs> God damn, another step? Who's the lucky winner? Probably oh, not him. Damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Look at his eyes and his hands. Why? Why? Listen, you can't give me angles like this and expect me to not try and go there. Also, this would be the perfect angle for spooks. Just saying. Charlie. Well, that's rude. You won't let me walk all the way down here and not even. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. Homie, everyone's dead. What are you? Good company. Let's talk about my feelings. People are literally dead. What do you mean? Hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't talk to me about my feelings. <laughs> Look how knobby those tires are, Chuck. Just... <laughs> Everything is Charlie, fine! Get over here! to a connect fight, guys. Oh, 
Oh, God, no. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> Hello, Father. It is I, your son. Do you still love me, Father? He's wearing contacts. <laughs> that little ring around his eyes. <gasps> it's my baby! Oh god, I'm so excited. and just magnificent this man is. Jesus. One of those people that like when they walk in a room they just command your attention. He's so pretty. Ugh, don't get on the Gross. The good the bees. Hey, Larry, whatever, that's the dude who wrote Uncle Bond. Uncle Guy. Crazy the same person into this court on until dawn. Oh my god, I think I may have played it too much. God, what a beautiful man. Hello. Hi. I'm in love with you. Welcome. So I let you know. To my repository. Sounds like suppository, but okay. Whatever you're into. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life 
and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish probably or not they are snuffed out everyone's probably gonna die you Fine. see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Yeah, it's never good to come too soon. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. You have super pretty eyes. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Hey, don't judge me. I don't know what the picture on his desk is. Oh, it's so pretty. God, I wish it was warm right now. No, instead it's a crisp. 18 degrees. Brad, witty, innocent Alex brother. Witty Brad. Alex, motivated, insecure. Brad's brother, Julie's boyfriend. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? Me Water. either. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing, big bro. It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. But, like, hand-holding is nice. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. <laughs> I'm Dude, not good with people. You know I'm not, like, <laughs> the best around new people. Or whatever. Hey. Shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust no. Me, I want you to have a good time. I. Okay, that's a bad idea. What if somebody asked me to do something stupid like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just. The new medical school would be stressful, you know. Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia. It's been rough. <sighs> For sure. Must be tough. Yeah, I got you. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Uh, hey. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. How's it going? Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah. Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a 
big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You're gonna bleach your hair? Do it. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Yeah. No, it's okay. Hey! Hi, Julia. Excited, reckless, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend. Conrad, foolhardy, relaxed, Julia's brother. Sean Ashmore. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. Oh, <laughs> dude. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. No. I get seasick, my dude. Uh, TBH? I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. It's, it's going pretty Brad steady. Bradley. Ray Bradleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. That's not a can. No. No, no. Aw, nah, man. You, no, no. You really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> so yourself. You ever do any diving before? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, no, actually. <sighs> Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. That's... Okay. I'm gonna pop your cherry. That's... <laughs> uh... <laughs> 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 Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Bliss, impatient, courageous, captain of the Duke of Milan. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? I love her. <laughs> what about over here? pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Listen. Brad did his homework. Brad Cools knows what he's here. doing. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Yeah, what do we got? What do you see? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? He freaking nailed it, my dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and were just like, so dope. Ah, uh, so dope? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, nerd burst. <laughs> nerd <laughs> burst. I love it. We found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, yeah, technically. <laughs> are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, disappointed, I Wait, guess. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? 
the right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am gonna do some reading up on <coughs> 29s. Oh, jeez. be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. right -o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's hey, go hey. check on my bro. Hi, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. How you doing? doesn't look kosher. It really doesn't. She's lying to you, Alex. Let's go see your brother. Yo, little bro. Howdy. Huh. What am I looking at here? Death, destruction, mayhem. I don't know if they actually see it, or if it's just something we see. There's not enough plates for everybody. Go, go, go in. It's fine. Hey, look, it's Shroud of Innocence. Smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Aww. You're good. I forget about the time difference. Cause like it's 2.16 a.m. here. But you're good. No worries. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found it's the going plane. good, baseball. Uh... Yeah, wasn't sure I we would. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. What do you think is down there? Based on the photos you took, I'd say it's a search and rescue plane, which is way cool. Way don't know if there'll cool. be much to find, but still, don't forget the camera. Pics or it didn't happen. Oh... <sighs> uh... Should I look for? Hey, Professor. Any hot tips on what I should be looking for down there? See if you can find anything to help us figure out what their mission was. Well, see you later. Sure. Well, Thanks for checking in. Dude, Alex is thick. <laughs> he got some butt. Is there anything else I can sneak through? You didn't mean this, right? Uh, <laughs> no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Okay. Can I talk to you again? No. Okay. Wait. Almost got the gear good to go. Need help? Need an extra hand? <laughs> Never Thanks used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. Oh it's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. She's right there. So, about that. I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty sure her diving license is fake. The seal's like pretty much coming off. 
and it's got a couple suspiciously misspelled words. Explains why she's acting so weird. Wonder what else she's hiding. Yeah. At least we can use it as a bargaining tool if she pulls any more goody two-shoe bullshit on us. But my dad's lawyers would love to hear all about it. All right, I'm gonna get wow. the rebreather set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. What's up, Connie? If I could interact with you, I would. Tip. Take a look. Looky, looky. Well, I'm playing with the iPad, so you can just break off. Oh, wait, wait, wait. what was that? Binoculars? Is there gonna be like a velociraptor? Are we gonna see Emily and Mike making out? What's the point in this? I'm so confused. <laughs> Cool, cool. <laughs> okay, so this is the rebreather. Yeah. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces totally. decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. Love that for us, Julia. Go to check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. You dog. Uh, let's take the. Camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. That photo looks right, super man. weird. Good to go. Oh god, uh... Oh, talk. <laughs> oh. Maybe we can <laughs> fire it up again tonight for our private post uh, special. Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Oh my god. Listen... Y'all are in a place with very thin walls. Sharky! Oh! This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Listen, I'm pretty uh, sure it's called the butterfly here. effect. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. We yeah. learned about that in the first game. That's cheap. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. That's what she said. No pain, no shark. Why do you touch a shark? This is a fucking remarkable find. I want to pet the baby. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You Sup. fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid uh sure sure why not
pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? I stole it. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Yeah, that's, that's very, very kind, of, kind you. of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. It's off, though. <laughs> what were you looking at? Look at these spelling errors are still there. Oh no. Let's just hide this. It'll be okay. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> oh, this is painful. around do you always have the same premonitions when you look at them or like no and it rocked with it do it Dear Ms. Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds the remainder of $24,783. With a sum of $3,481 payable by the 1st of August 2019. This amount has been overdue since that date, and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the outstanding amount is received by August 30th, we will have no choice but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, mainly the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. Please act accordingly. Yes, and daily Charles here. Call bank, cancel cell. 5,000, Jesus Christ. Sell laptop. Wouldn't she need this stuff for her, you know, business? It's okay. Weather looks clear. I don't know what Celsius is. Cause I'm American. Will she see anything? Any spooky scaries? Is there a velociraptor? What do you see, Fliss? I just want to stand here and enjoy the view. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Cool. Cool, cool. Hey, Conrad. What's What's, what's Gucci? Hey there, how's it hanging? <coughs> um... Psh. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Oh my god! 
Wait, no, no, no. Romantic. I have to keep track of the dive, <laughs> but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just, oh just my god! You and I in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> that was so awkward. Listen, don't talk to me unless we're going to be having a conversation <laughs> intercourse. What else does she need to do? We've done everything. Just kidding. We haven't actually. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? Oops! Uh, that's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. This so sounds under interesting. Just a little bit. This? this feels off. This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? It's so pretty. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? You tell him, Fliss. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. <laughs> just growl. Wow. That's nice. Need a hand. Get it? Uh, uh, funny. I'm funny. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Oh, oh. there's an opening yeah, yeah, in Conrad. the rear? Question mark? The turret. We can get in through there. Yeah. You go first. first? Yeah, exactly. Go. <laughs> it's fine. The secrets? No? Okay. I don't know where they are in this game. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you... I'm gonna explore their secrets. Julia, leave it. You no. You have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? It's fine. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Move a little, Edgeward. See, look, she's fine. Until she's not. God, that would be freaking terrifying. Oh, 
no. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that. Uh. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Yeah, Dudorino. It's okay. Search area one clear, it area was two a clear. Plan. Launch from a U.S. base. Text obscured. Kowalski destination. Text obscured. It's fine. They're on their way to help out a ship. <gasps> Foreshadowing. But first, clues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Secret <laughs> found? <gasps> Look, I found a secret. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Witty Brad is gonna do sick flips? Dude. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Brad told me that sometimes they would take a bomber and turn it into a search and rescue play. One of the That's rescue pretty boats is bomb! Missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. I have to sneeze again. Why am I like this? Oh, wait, wait. Good God. What, the super dirty game? <gasps> oh, you scared skeleton. The watered Wonder down semi dirty game. I'm pretty sure it's dirty. The dirty <sighs> horror Jeez, game. Piece of shit. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I didn't like that. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. That was scary. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. <laughs> that scared me so much. Oh my god. Gotta get out of here now. Let's go. Oh no, grab it. <gasps> Look at the shark. shark. He almost oh, put the shark. shark. Come at me, shark. Come at me, bro. It's a great reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. But I'm interested in it, Brad. Oh. Alex. Who are you? Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then. I didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't guess. Oh. Do it! <gasps> I know you can't tell, because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? No, 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 no. No, no, I, I, I don't know! <laughs> Alex, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. No, no, Julia, it's okay. I'm serious. Alex, 
I still jump during oh, Until Dawn, so yes, shush. Yes, I'm the shit out of you. <laughs> That's a weird way to say yes. All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. you. What a great trophy. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah okay. Decompress, right. Long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now go, 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 catch it. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. It's okay. There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, yeah, this one. So, why are you paying the ocean? It's so pretty. A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nice Dude, done. bro. Come up and let's celebrate. <gasps> it's my guy! Listen, I'm sorry, I like you a lot, but like, look at the curator. He's just. Uh, You're getting to know these beautiful. intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish both seem out of their depth and Julia the love of Alex's life and he the love of hers what about Conrad I want to love my life fellow, you might say or maybe you'd say arrogant hi and then there's Captain Fliss welcome, strong welcome. forthright stubborn do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Hopefully. Let me reassure you. You've Special helped them to make some more. decisions they'll value later on. Will they? You're doing well. Am I? You're <laughs> sure. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm sure trying. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless <laughs> to say, this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? It has a nice Honestly, ring. I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. 
Oh. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. Wow, I love you too. <laughs> the second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Aww. I love you. Oh, <laughs> you can walk all over me. Ouch. Ouchie. <laughs> Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. By what? What did you get distracted by? Oh yeah, the thing you sent me down here for an hour ago, I got him. It's okay. Alright, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Where was this? Oh, camera. So, Aww. Aww. Look at the pictures. Air Rescue Service, Conlin Island. It's a dead body. Bro, bro, bro. One, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. Listen, he followed his heart. Don't judge him. So, we want to get involved. Turn it off. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. That's what it. I'll go down with you. Uh, listen, I'm sure Fliss uh, just loves me. Don't come find me, I'm exploring. Hey, almost time for barbecue. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Gotty. Come here, Vixen. Oh. Oh. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right Bro, here. your fiance just cock blocked you. That's rough. They all look so awkward. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Adam? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Every time she says that word, I feel like she's making it up. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the love. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not okay. careful. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. 
You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a yeah. story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. Let's Go hear for it, it, Radical. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Don't worry about uh, it. Well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse, stood the top in a toll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shush. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then, it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. <laughs> Aww. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ooh. Huh. The husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. <laughs> no vaccine. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over Sorry, the Sorry, we're getting married no matter what. Door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Oh, hey, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. <laughs> okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. Oh, yeah, how's our stuff going? Oh, her and Alex are great. Her and Brad are great. Excited, generous, selfish. Witty, cunning, courageous. We got three. What are these? Alex didn't take the bang stick on the dive. Julia had to use the knife to open the cockpit door, breaking it in the process. Oh. When they talked about it later, they were both happy. Oh. Brad told Alex to follow his gut. So Alex proposed to Julia. She said yes. They announced it. They were both happy. Julia waited to be compressed. All oh, secrets. 
No, cool, no, cool. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the A. What regulations are these? <laughs> regulations. Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? Uh-huh. The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Scary skeletons. Freaking terrifying. Fine. He's wearing a Salem shirt. Like the witch trial Salem question mark. These are kind of maybe the fishermen I missed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. 
Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Conrad, please. <coughs> Shush. <coughs> I'm begging you. blood on my ship. No, no, no. Please. Just stop, man. We we'll finish with him later. Be on your best behavior, little man. Little man. I'm sure he's no. fine. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Turn around. Don't look with your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay. They're so aggressive. <laughs> So. And get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just 
stay focused and get to the boat. I don't want him to go. Stay together. Don't leave us. I don't want him to go. Just get to the boat. I think you need to press some buttons. I'm scared. Because <laughs> I don't want him to leave. Oh, God. I don't want him to leave. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't miss any. Why didn't it keep going? Did I miss one? I don't know. I think I did. Conrad! Conrad! I'm so sorry. I don't know. Yeah. Use it if you have to. I don't think I missed any. I don't know. You, that was here. weird. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Fine. Olson. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian go? Manchurian go. having a voice that deep, my god. Hey, they let them change. That's nice. You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! I love that they're talking about that right in front of him. We're only talking. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just going to say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Cahoots? It is isn't true. You can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up. There are so. What a cork in it. It's trying. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Sit still. All <laughs> my bad. You come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. But there be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Read you. Everything okay? Over. That's yeah, fine. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. 
snuff, used to a little weather freaking you out. Eh, let's just say nothing. Hear you. He's he's right there. He could help. Question mark. Keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Yeah, it's fine. is going great. Everyone's still alive. Yeah. Things could have been quite different. Could they? Oh my god, your mouth doesn't match up. <laughs> oh god. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. <laughs> yes, Attempted? please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Tell me. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, <laughs> Act 2, yeah. Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But no, here's actually, the thing. I'm okay. Can we hang Everything out? Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Special feature, no? Probably shouldn't have said that. No, it's okay. You you tell me anything and everything you want. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! The door! The door! Quick! The door! When 
getting dressed? Why didn't we put shoes on? Plus are great, him and Julia aren't. Guarded, full hardly impatient, witty, cunning, reckless. Reckless, my dude. New. Alex. Conrad attacked Junior during the kidnapping. Not on purpose. Conrad was unarmed, so Junior overpowered him. Stop it. Danny brought Alex on deck with a knife to his throat. With Conrad and Alex overpowered, the fight was over. The fisherman took Julia's engagement ring. So mean. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Can I go this way? Just over here. <laughs> Let me explore. Going on an adventure. Hey. I'm gonna get you killed. On purpose, accidentally. Trap. I'll just let her stand there, but I can't look at a piece of paper. Keep moving. We literally are. It's fine. Go back. Get back. Fine. I'll go this way. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Me either. Do you dare to look death in the eye? Now showing in the mess hall. Creepy, creepy. You so mad. Get back. Oh, secret. Miller. I'm gonna need you to shush your face, mister. I know you're supposed to be like a big bat, but like, let me put these shoes on. You know, I'm barefoot. The these dickheads want with us? He's literally right there, Conrad. Maybe don't say that. Oh, man. What's that? Just this dude bro slamming stuff, it's okay. Oh, shit! Oh god. <laughs> I didn't jump. Internal memorandum. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He's sick again. Conveniently it's always when he has to when he has guard duties and hold three A. First is twenty four hundred. Check the chart for rotation. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should buck up. Just get on it. You'll let me read that, but nothing else? Don't go 
talk close. You stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't you do it. You stay there. I'll stay here. You stay there. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Are you doing it? Don't. Mm -mm. Stay back. <sighs> Told you not to move. What's up? Hi, Your listen. boss is here. Okay, all of you, into the room. Into the room. How the intruder get in? Intrudo window. You can thank David Tennant for that. It's okay. Are you my mommy? Hey, mommy? it's pitch black in here. Give Are us the light. Are you my mommy? Please, mommy. Oh. Thanks. I'm surprised they let her keep that. It's a boat. Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. <laughs> you think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Uh it's dangerous here. Yeah man, this whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. It didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. You were literally with without. us, Fliss. What do you mean? What is one? So Okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine... Go. ...work. Oh, it, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Am I blowing us? Fliss, I just wanted to say that, um... I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? Ah, oh, really? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, oh you're God, he prematurely came. With these guys, <laughs> or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. God, they're Alex. Just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool? Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to read this newspaper right here, guys. You do whatever. What happened here? An American overseas gangland wing of 1947. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zargos Mountains of Iraq. So, <gasps> I wonder if this is for the next one. For uh, House of Ashes. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the... Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. Sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. 
So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. <laughs> haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. I love him. I probably shouldn't have started answers. talking to them yet. That's... Because I'm not done exploring! Ghosts, but like 16 men. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose to eat that. I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Like Super Mario. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Uh. Is that how Look, those bro? meatballs are probably just looking for some get rich quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. Then we die. What do we do? Cry. <laughs> we wanted an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> you gonna man up and be a hero? I'll be whatever you want. Duly noted. <laughs> what are you doing, okay. Alex? Well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right. Yeah. Catch you later. Okay, cool. I can continue. Yeah, yeah. It's falling apart. SS. I wonder why this was ripped off. Shit mascot. They better not have killed the dog. What do you think this ship was? A boat. Miss J. Riviera, apartment 2275 Lockwood Drive, Crescent Springs, Cincinnati, Kentucky. How baby doll? I miss you like crazy. <laughs> It's three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you, if you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. Great. Of all the places I'm going to die on, a bonafide ghost ship. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding this cargo hold. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around. But I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic. And we can get married and have two children. We'll be super... <laughs> what? <laughs> we'll be happy together forever. Love you so much. Miller. Hugs. Is X hugs or is O hugs? Mm. I don't remember. Real, oh, look, it's glasses. It's just glasses. Put them on. They look really little. Do you think the sink still works? Oh, we can't even walk over there. Okay, that's fine. Is there a. Oh, no, okay. Okay. Wait, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I got it all. Yeah, I read that. I talked to them. I think I'm good. Can, can you? Okay. Hmm. Did you not notice me moving this thing? Even though we're in this super tiny room? That's crazy, right? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you 
uh, need some help with that? Uh, uh, I'm here for you. I think. But I, I already did all this stuff. Listen, if Brad was here, he would talk to me. Come take a look. I. Right here! Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Know where a bit like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. I mean, you want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah. Okay. Conrad, you do it. Uh, distract. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Yeah, you Did long you dumb suffering hope? shit. Well, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. You. I'm gonna rip your pirate hair off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow colored stew. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. No, he won't. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Hurry up. Conrad, up the deck. Probably not. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Oh. Look at that. I love Look the at that. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. But there's a room there. Is she a clue? Okay. <laughs> Conrad, please. <laughs> please. FAQ, all ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations. Due to special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, <laughs> no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court-martial. By order of Captain Ford, guys, nobody is allowed in the 3A. Seriously, nobody. I love how the typed out stuff is so serious. And then it's like, hey guys, like, don't go here. It's not allowed. Close. It and then there's the mystery of the smelling socks punching briefs. Oh, what's that? Listen, I didn't jump. Fine. It's okay. <laughs> it's 
Okay. Guys, I almost got killed by a mouse. Can you, uh... That is so bad. Wait. 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 There was... There was someone standing here. Was that Fliss? <gasps> what? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, Who was that? I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. Okay, so like the 204 mark. And leave all of their stuff behind. Something doesn't add up. That looked like Fliss, but like... Oh my god, that door. <laughs> the, door. <laughs> the game's broken. Where's the you are here arrow? Well, we know you're on the upper hold. Whatever that means. Stop it. Stop it. You stop that. No more moving. <gasps> Are you gonna disappear too? Which way do I go? Do I go this way? <laughs> I'm afraid. Why are you in front of the toilet? Oklahoma? Dude, I'm like five minutes from there. There... Islas? Islas? I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They gonna see Daddy real soon. He's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land. And there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letters to keep me going. They censored them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. <laughs> really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick. Now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll ride again soon. Robert. Don't do a jump scare. Don't do a jump scare. Don't you dare. Da 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 do you have a reflection? Why are those so... Is there people that tall? I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? If I walk back through this door, are you going to be standing there? <gasps> She's still there! She didn't disappear like Fliss did. That's crazy. You hear that? <laughs> you didn't buy that? You mean the terrifying sound? Then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound? Sure. How about we just ignore I'm so it? so freaked out. Just... It's okay. Fine. I'll protect you. Aren't you glad I didn't leave on the boat that you wanted me to? This place is fucking massive. Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a warship, my dude. What is this place? Terrifying. Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cat back. Where are we gonna get out of here? Hello. Who are you talking to? But you don't hear that. The whispering. I don't hear anything. Except this old junker wheezing and creaking. Uh, I don't like this. 
Connie, 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 Connie. Where the crap is Bliss? She left with us. June 19th. I identified problem areas with the structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of the cargo hold. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. I responded to, com to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which would stop the equipment short shorting out and should slow down the growth. Huh. Engineer's log. We totally fucked. <laughs> That's not what that says. I conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there's loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck, which is lost, which is left damaged. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I have received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to look through the night to make a full damage assessment. No more? Where the freak frack is bliss? Does she just not exist anymore? <laughs> oh, this is nice. No, it's not. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. Listen, there was an X Files episode like this. Please interact with it. Thank you. Look at that little bitty skull. Look at it. He's so tiny. Hat on. Do it. Do it, Connie. Okay. The skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris snipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with the feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. Maybe. B, he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise, not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Friday the 13th. Great. Booze was bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they've lifted. Meeting up later down on six to check it out. Just heard one of those guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. fell off. The guy who's gonna help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks he's some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about that place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. He streams on Twitch? Bro, that's crazy. Won't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Prez said that the boys made more hooch. Too bummed out to sneak and try some. But what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any full idea from Prez ever again. Last night I was on duty with Wallowitz. And if he didn't creep me out, he got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones who went MIA in the jungle. Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home just like us saps. 
I sneaked a look, and Jesus there it was, just like the guy in the court had said, all laid out real nice, all glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they would have done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. He'd make sure we all come. Mm-hmm. That's it? It's the 21st right now. The game at least. But it's the 12th today, isn't it? Which is the opposite of the 21st. Bum, bum, bum. Like they're playing rummy. Or like poker or something. Any secrets? Secret secrets? Give me more. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, ouch! That looked painful. My guy, jeez. Can you not walk all over it? Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Where is this? Where are we? What is happening, Conrad? Oh my. is fine. Everything is fine, guys. Everything is awesome. Your lantern scared the crap out of me? How freaking dare you? Listen, listen, I seen you. I seen you, sailor lady. Julia, we we gotta go. Oh hey this bliss. I haven't seen you for like ever. There it is. Look. It's the distributor cap of the milk. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, there it is. Careful. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the chance. <sighs> okay. Keep an eye out. God, Fliss, biceps.
Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop and look for clues. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Alex, main deck. Hi, Alex. How's your stuff going? Truthful, eager, cunning, excited, relaxed, generous. Cool, cool. Okay. Nice kicks, my dude. Don't mind me, Julia. I'm just exploring. Internal memo to all crew. Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near Section 7C. Signed, Corporal Moore, Chaplain. Copy to QMAMS. I thought the game was downstairs on the I don't understand. Hi, Julia. What was that? You yeah. Not funny. Did you know the Titanic is decaying faster because when it went down, there was a bunch of food and other stuff on it? So the, whatchamacallit, the little rust guys. Are destroying it quicker than they would have if it went down without all that on there. Also, it didn't actually break apart above water. Who's with this place? Broke apart under the water. Really? There's nothing back here? Huh, okay. Cool, cool. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I no? I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. We literally haven't, Julia. There's gonna be a jump scare here. So oh God, sure, what is that? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. Listen, why was the little circles on that? This is yucky. Oh god. Oh. I don't want to look. Is there going to be a spook? Jesus. God. Alex? What is it? Uh. Mirror. Ugh. It's for yourself. Ugh. Oh, that is. Yucky. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's 
as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Yeah. Boiled eggs, boiled halibut with potatoes and fresh lima beans, roast beef with fresh vegetables, cold roast beef with salad and spiced beets. What would you want? Cold roast beef. Roast lamb with new potatoes and carrots as opposed to old potatoes? Split pea soup. Listen, Julia, I'm not done exploring. You can, you know, leave me if you want. Look at this rusty spoon I found. Look at it, guys. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. But we might need it. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Is there anything else? Okay, I guess we go now. We gotta go through here. Isn't it? It's where you sit and eat. Can you please? Alex. Okay, there's a picture over there, but is there anything over here? What was that? I didn't hear anything. Uh, maybe you should get your ears examined, bud. Listen, they're fine. It's a notebook. We haven't been at sea long and I'm sick of the food already. That monk we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure, but man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. Every one of the US papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. I'm not sleepy. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition when the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his sires with no dice. It'd take a whole crew of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with the squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. Ooh. Listen, I feel like you should be able to walk through there. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Guys, I'm gonna go look at this picture and get, like, super bad news about our lives. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. You know, a radical gets stabbed at cool. I hate myself. <laughs> uh, why am I the way I am? This isn't right. <laughs> what? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? Put your sword away. It's okay. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. I'm sure you did, love. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. I'm not laughing at you, my dude. Conrad's hallucinating. 
he got scared. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be cool it, Jay. Listen, you need a cute nickname for her. Not Jay. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Uh, I don't want to say anything. Uh, Alex, paradigm of comfort and assurance. Listen, sure, it's freaky and it's disgusting and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. But I didn't get to what is this? check and see if that door was unlocked. Man, I can't interact with that door. It's okay. It's the chapel, my dude. Can you? Will you? There we go. Hey, we got a name on this guy. What are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, A. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Well, okay, that wasn't very nice. Uh, if I open it, will it screw me over? Aren't the Sammy's twins? Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! I don't want to leave, leave, leave. There's still other stuff. Julia. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. <gasps> right there. And those are his parents. Baby Drac. <laughs> And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Julia, you're not being very funsies right now. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. <laughs> they just locked them up. We're over. We're done skis. What's the matter? There's going to be a spooky scare. What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Look, it's a... Is that a gauntlet? Or is that an urn? Question mark. It's fine. Sick bay. Ha! <laughs> Sick dude. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. I'm not. We gotta get flips. No time. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? That sound that's being made? Why so spick and span? Cause it's a hospital? I don't really wanna go in there just yet. Yeah, let's just, 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 just. Oh. Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Me either. Is that the curator? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Why, why did he, why did he look like my boy? 
my boy. Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get him some air. Conrad! Can you imagine? Literally in the middle of surgery and just. So this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. God, it's it's the no eyes that creeps me out. Just the hollow sockets, like, I just, mm. Oh yeah, also, hate this angle. Walk out the door, please. This is spooky. <laughs> What's in here? Any medicine we find in here is gonna be... Sorry. Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey, where do you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion? I'm trying to help him. And you're making jokes. But also, yeah, where's your brother? We're kind of like, you know, kidnapped, being held hostage on a haunted ship. No, it's fine. Let's yell. We're supposed to be hiding. Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Connie! Shh, shh. Quiet. I can shout if I want. Connie! You literally can't. Where the hell did he go? I don't know. He's your brother. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here just because I need sleep. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm so excited to play more of this. Oh my god, I'm excited. <sighs> I'm so excited. I think it's going good. innocent she is she's anxious and innocent and excited and relaxed oh oh my god <laughs> you can control her <laughs> look she's like oh innocent yes very nice <laughs> oh my god Look at all these secrets. Beautiful. It's going good so far. Excited and relaxed, right? Doesn't make sense. She's also anxious and relaxed and heroic. Listen, Fliss, you don't make any sense. Alex found a knife in the kitchen and chose to keep it. She is weird. 1000%. Keep going good though. We got some secrets. Her and Conrad's relationship is like... Fantastic. <laughs>
What? What is... What is... What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bliss was distraught. Alex was disappointed with Bliss. Alex was frustrated with Bliss. Julia thanked Bliss for helping her onto the deck. Julia apologized to Bliss. Bliss was unimpressed with Julia. Why? Conrad warned Bliss that someone was coming. Conrad was curious about the distributor cap. Conrad chatted to make light of the situation. Listen, <laughs> it's serious. We gotta make jokes. Bliss flirted with Conrad. Fliss accepted Conrad's offer of investment. Fliss did not appreciate Conrad flirting with her. Well, and her and Brad just haven't talked. I don't even know this is a thing you could do. Huh. <laughs> Shows how much I know. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Anyways, I do think I want to end the stream. I want to raid someone. I've never raided someone before. I think it would be fun to do. Your game, of course. Because the person that was in the stream earlier was... They're streaming right now. So. Thanks for hanging out. Don't have too much fun with school. Now here's to see if I did it right. Hopefully I did. <laughs> I don't know though. It's okay. He's okay. 